Um, Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today, we actually went out and purchased the Schneider lamps. If you recall, they showed it to you. Um, it came with a little solar panel. And then one thing I didn't realize, he dropped it. I'm not going to drop it because we're going to send this to Niger Delta. But one thing I didn't realize was he has, the lights have three settings. So you push the first button. So that's the first setting. Oops, push it for me. Push it, right. So it got brighter, then push it again. Now it gets brighter. So it has three settings. It has different levels of brightness. So hold it so easy to do this. Hold it here. Again. So we're going to be installing the CSW. So we have a 4048, 4 kilowatt inverter. Um, constant output is 3800, and then for, 40, for 30 minutes, for 4,400 and pretty psyched we're going to replace one of the two inverters we have inside with this one I was hoping we'll do it today but my guys are very tired they've been traveling and they have a job tomorrow morning and that customer is paying us I'm not paying us so this will have to wait till next week so next time I do a video you'll be seeing this um, this was the one that got dropped we're not, I'm not going to drop it like I said it comes with a 12 watt solar panel please turn it off thank you just push it one more time same button so the same button turns it on and then it changes the intensity there are three levels of intensity and then here you can charge your phone using the usb here or you can charge this with using an external okay hold on i'll revisit this you can charge using an external power source you can charge with a usb or you can charge with the solar panel let me see what the solar panel can someone remove the solar panel from this? You can charge it using that output there is for the solar panel. So it's, oops, it's really tiny one, two and a half. It's 2.5 watts actually, let me see if you can see it. 2.5 watts, which is really tiny. And then this is the thing, this plugs into, that plugs into here, right there. And then I believe you can also charge it using a, oh, actually you can charge your phones using this. So you plug that in, and then you can charge different types of phones. Pretty cool, nifty trick. So if you have an, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out or post your questions, and I'll be very happy to answer them. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lake. Hello, YouTube. Dr. Sola here, and as you could see, my CSW forty forty eight is in and is operating. I have the SCP, uh, give me a little bit, I'll eventually figure out how this baby works. It says I'm currently pulling 800 and some odd watts. It's going to take a little bit of time to focus, but it's trying. Okay, let me see by eye. Yep, it's pulling 920, 960 watts. Um, we're pulling 18, 18 amps and our battery is at 56.2 volts. The battery is currently full. And as you can hear, it's silent, no noise. The grower to be whining like a little baby right now because I put a little bit of a load on it. This baby here is quiet. Now we're at 960 watts, 989 watts, 1000 watts. Look at that. 1000. My inverter is going to keep doing that till it gets um, to where it needs to be and then the numbers will drop. So I have my MPPT and the CSW connected to the SCP. So we're going to move this, as you can see, it's a little crooked. Um, we, moved, we removed the grow watt, we're going to install it for a client because we sold him the grow watt and we didn't want to misrepresent what we did. If you recall, we had two grow watts, one blew up. Mine is still, the, the original one is still fine and then the replacement is going to a client. Um, I got the CSW from Schneider. Thank you, Schneider Electric Nigeria. You guys rock. And we'll be putting it through its tests. Right now, the low battery cutoff is 48 volts. If anyone knows how to get that number to be higher, like 50 volts, please let me know. Over the next day or two, we'll do firmware updates, hoping to take further advantage of um, whatever settings or whatever advantages that this inverter brings. But there's so much it does. And as I do the video, you'll see more. 
Um, next week sometime, we're going to move everything to this side of the room. So the inverters will be stacked one on top of the other. Um, this board will go. The battery monitor will be on the, in the box. Sorry, the BMV will be in the box. The shunt will also be in the box. And our wiring will look much cleaner. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please post them below. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you for watching.